is Gabe Zolna. Mike Broomhead's one of the talking heads on KFYI. That's a very popular uh, radio show here in Arizona, in the Phoenix area. Anyway, um, Mike Broomhead, he had a guest on the show, and he had Mr. Tom Morrissey. Morrissey is Arizona's uh, GOP chairman. And apparently, Mike couldn't understand why Tom was questioning Obama's birth certificate documents. And those documents, uh, for your view, if you wish, are still posted on the official White House website, which in essence is really a crime scene because the document has been proven to be an absolute forgery and a poor one at that. But anyway, that's, that's a different question. The uh, question that Broomhead started off asking uh, Tom was, are you a birther? And Tom was quick enough to turn that around and uh, explain uh, as to uh, what is a birther. So after Mike uh, recovered from that, because he didn't expect that kind of response, uh, they went on to ask a couple of other questions. And one of the questions that he asked is, well, you know, would you be questioning anybody else's birth certificate other than Obama? Uh, well, I think that's a pretty stupid question to ask because normally that's really not necessary. But when there is so much doubt based on all of the things that we don't know, coupled with the things that we do know, it's a natural concern that I'd say 100% of normal people have in this country. Not the abnormal, but the normal ones. Mike, I don't know where you've been the last four and a half plus years, but you obviously haven't been here on this planet, because if you would have been here on this planet, you wouldn't have asked that idiotic question. Now, one of the concerns that anyone would have is never mind that the document that he posted appears to be a complete forgery and Hawaii won't let anybody have a look at what they say they have, which they say is similar, has similar information on it as the one that he posted. If that's true, if they are identical, then they're both forgeries. But anyway, what about the fact that you seem to be totally clueless? I don't think you have ever taken the time to take a look at what's on the web. And you could find all kinds of new information. And all you have to do is go Google Sheriff Joe's posse, Mike Zulu's presentation, the Cole K. Posse presentation on Obama's eligibility. And I think it was March the 1st. And it'll all become crystal clear to you, you see? And there's another follow-up press release. If that doesn't give you enough information, the second one will hopefully make it all crystal clear for you. There is so much doubt about this person, it's frightening. Never mind what he's doing to this country, which is also frightening, but we know nothing about his past. Elena Kagan, you know who she is. You might not know who she is, Mike. She is a Supreme Court justice that Obama elevated from being a simple attorney. She never even became a judge. Now she's a Supreme Court justice. You think maybe it was like payola? You know what payola is, Mike? That's like the Chicago term for payoff. You see, she's the one that buried his past with the help of three or four million dollars that he provided. So why would someone spend that kind of money if they had nothing to hide, Mike? Another question is why didn't he take advantage of the five million dollar offer that Donald Trump made? I mean, it was five million dollars to a charity, any charity of Obama's choice. Why wouldn't he have accepted that, Mike? You ever think he's got a whole lot of reason not to accept that? Because if he did accept it, and if those documents were produced, you know what would happen to him? He'd be arrested for high treason. Because what they would show, Mike, is that he attended on a foreign exchange student. That's how he attended. And the passport that he used, guess what? That was from Indonesia. See, Mike, that's how he was able to travel to those parts of the world when travel to Pakistan was not allowed in 1980, yet he went there for a holiday. Now, Mike, come on, you're a smart guy. You made it from being about a carpenter to a, or an electrician to making a gazillion dollars being a talking head. Why don't you get yourself up to speed, all right? Why don't you do yourself a favor and do the American people your view as a favor too by giving them information that's real. As far as Tom Morrissey is concerned, he's probably one of the only people that I know of that has really come out in the last four and a half years and honors his oath of office by questioning the eligibility of the usurper who is playing president in the White House. And Mike, you're not helping at all. So do me a favor. Do your viewers a favor. Get up to speed. Once you're up to speed, then 
will be more inclined to listen to what you have to say. Right now, what you say means nothing to me. Goodbye, Mike.